This is an original story written by the United Shore Professional Baseball League called Lancelot's Day at the Game. Once upon a time in a far off land lived a unicorn named Lancelot. Lancelot is a baseball player for the Utica Unicorns. He likes to play in the outfield and is a very strong batter. He loves summer nights under the bright lights at Jimmy John's Field, playing for sold out crowds. In Lancelot's spare time, he reads a lot of books. He even read all of the books in his school's library. Some of his favorites are Captain Underpants, Junie B. Jones, and If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. While at school, he found out that many of his friends had never been to a game at Jimmy John's Field before. Lancelot wanted his friends to experience the excitement of the game, spending time with their family and friends, playing in the kids' zone, and cheering on their favorite teams. One day at school, Lancelot came up with a great idea. What if my friends at school could earn baseball tickets for reading? He told his teacher, who loved the idea. When your friends meet their reading goals, they'll not only get to go to the baseball game, but they'll also be strong readers, just like you. Every day at school and at home, Lancelot's friends worked on their reading goals. Once they met their goals, they were then awarded with a ticket to go to Jimmy John's Field and see the teams of the USPBL. On the day of the big game, his friends got ready to go. They brushed their teeth, combed their hair, and put on their best baseball clothes. The students who had met their reading goals were welcomed on the field by Lancelot and his teammates from the Utica Unicorns. Everyone cheered for their hard work and accomplishments they made back in March. After the national anthem, it was time for the game to start. That night, the Utica Unicorns were playing the West Side Woolly Mammoths. Right away, the Mammoths pitcher struck out the first Unicorns player. The next batter stepped up to the plate, and the pitcher struck him out too. This continued for the following eight innings. The Unicorns had not scored at all, and they needed a miracle to win. It was the last inning of the game, and Lancelot was up to bat. The bases were loaded with runners on first, second, and third. Lancelot was nervous as he walked up to home plate and took his stance in the batter's box. The pitcher threw the first pitch. Lancelot swung, and he... missed. Strike one, yelled the umpire. But Lancelot was not ready to give up. He took his stance again and really focused on keeping his eye on the ball. The Mammoth's pitcher wound up his pitch on the mound and threw a curveball. Lancelot swung the bat, but he could not make contact. Strike two, yelled the umpire. Lancelot knew he had one more shot. He looked over at his teammates in the dugout and then up at all of his school friends in the grandstands. They were cheering his name. Lancelot, Lancelot, Lancelot! The pitcher wound up for his third pitch. This time he threw a fastball right down the center of home plate. And this time Lancelot was ready. He swung with all of his might and made perfect contact with the ball. Crack went the ball off the bat, flying over the bases and through the outfield, landing beyond the fence. He had hit a grand slam. Lancelot's teammates greeted him at home plate, jumping up and down and cheering for their victory. The Utica Unicorns had won the game. After the game, Lancelot ran the bases with his friends because at Jimmy John's Field, Every kid gets to run the bases after every game. His goals of helping his friends read, come to Jimmy John's Field, and win the game were accomplished.